Art of Fishing with Chuck Byron. How many miles did we go? Did you row today? Well, you rowed a lot of miles. Yeah, you were all going up, up and down. Street, but... <laughs> Lots of miles. Right. Uh, but uh, we drifted about three and a half miles. And now we're going to go back up and we're going to go do a little higher, drift a little bit higher. We're going to go fishing again? We're going to do it again. <laughs> I would say if you put like a game fish and you say, okay, um, what's one of the best game fish? And Dorado has to be at the top of the list because edibility is one, perfect. Uh, jumps. They get big, they're strong, and there's a lot of them. Nothing, they're a neat fish. Sometimes they get so neat that you hate them. <laughs> get out of the way! We're trolling around, trolling around these buoys that we got out here. In Mexico, they, they drop big anchors with buoys and Dorado hang around them, and other fish, and other fish, and more fish. We're going around these, bu these uh, buoys, catching these little bonitas, and we're Baiting them out, putting them on the route rigger. We're looking for, oh, I guess Dorado. Um, and anything else that'll bite. If we get a marlin or something to come out there, it'd be really nice. If I got a real good drawing, then the painting will just be easy. And when I draw, I just, I'm not even thinking anymore. My hand just starts working. When it's at that point, I'm just, it's a weird feeling. I'm not even seeing it, it's just going. And then I sit back, I go, okay, I drew that, I understand what I saw, and then I just get, I go more detailed, more detail, more detail. I try to let my mind stop thinking and let it all just flow fluid. And then after it's all fluid, it's sounding good, and you just go and you let it go, let it go, let it go, and you know, of course, then I get detailed, more detail, more detail, more detailed, and. Albert Gutsky. Go do it again. We're at our, our tenth fish in one hour. We have Billy rowing the boat down here. He's crowding them into us, so we're just fishing. It's just a try out loud. Don't see nothing. Like everyone told me, you go you go steelhead fishing one time, you'll be hooked. And I tell you what, this is incredible stuff. It's a lot harder catching these steelhead than it is catching 600 pound marlin. This is. <laughs> Good stuff. Your hands. Your hands. Release. <laughs> and away she goes. The release. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> she liked them right <laughs> Oh, if my school saw that palette, they would be so mad at me because they always saw clean palette. Eating pals, all they always said. Oh, yeah, and I've always had the worst. Rowdy Creek Fish Hatchery. Right here up at the border of California and Oregon. Washington, or was it Oregon? Oregon. Oregon. Well, I'm a victim of the public school system, so I really don't know my geographics. But anyways, we're going to take a tour. Bob is the director. That, oh, that's his name right up there. Bob Will up the hatchery. He raises trout. He raises salmon. And he's been doing it for 40 years. What we're going to do is go meet these guys. We're going to meet my guide, and we're going to make these come. Here.
television show that we're doing. We're, on, we're, we're going up there to the mountains and we're going to fish for steelhead. You're going to be on television. Oh, yay! How do you feel about that? Good. Are you a Republican? Dorado are fun to paint with any color you give them. Paint them blue, green, red, orange, purple, or even no color, pure white or silver. Those are my favorite color Dorado, but they're so hard to paint because they have no contrast unless it's really dark sky or something. Mm -hmm.